Mr. Chancellor, elders, members of the Board of Governors, fellows of the university, special guests, faculty, staff, graduates, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the afternoon convocation of Lakehead University. Richard Stallman is internationally recognized as a leader in the free software movement which argues that everyone should be free to run, share, study, and modify software. Born in New York City in 1953, Richard Stallman graduated from Harvard with a BA in physics in 1974. While studying at Harvard, Richard also worked as a staff hacker at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Artificial Intelligence Lab, where he learned how to develop operating systems. After graduating, he continued working at MIT until 1984 when he left to work full-time on the GNU project. The GNU operating system is a complete free software system, upward compatible with Unix. Richard developed a number of widely used components of the GNU system, including the original Emacs, an extensible customizable text editor, the GNU compiler collection, and the GNU debugger. The GNU operating system in combination with the kernel Linux is used in millions of computers worldwide. To keep GNU software free, Richard pioneered the concept of copy left, a legal means to protect the modification and distribution rights for free software. Richard Stallman is the main author of the GNU General Public License, the most widely used free software license in the world. In 1985, he started the Free Software Foundation, a charity that promotes and defends the rights of free software users around the world and provides a legal infrastructure for the free software movement. He co-founded the League for Programming Freedom in 1989 which aims to prevent monopolies in software development, and he remains its president. Since the mid-1990s, Richard has been an outspoken advocate of the free software movement. He campaigns against software patents and what he sees as excessive extensions of copyright laws. Among other honors, Richard Stallman has been granted honorary doctorates by Sweden's Royal Institute of Technology, the University of Glasgow, and universities in Belgium, Argentina, Italy, and Peru. Richard has informed me that this will be his first honorary doctorate from a North American university. He believes that using free software is a political and ethical decision that affirms the right to learn and to share one knowledge with others. Ideologically, this might be compared to uh, software being a part of uh, the freedom of speech. And in the case of functional applications like software text, hence they should be free and outside of the confining concept of intellectual property. Mr. Chancellor, it is my great privilege and pleasure to request on behalf of the Senate of Lakehead University that you confer on Richard Stallman the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris causa. By virtue of the authority vested in me and by the decision of Senate, I admit Richard Stallman to the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris causa. <laughs>